Filing to appeal tonight, former President Donald Trump and seven co-defendants have filed a new motion against the decision to keep D.A. Fonnie Willis on the Fulton County election interference case. And tonight we're going to be digging into the new filing and how it may impact the timeline of the trial and the upcoming presidential election. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles is live now from the Fulton County Courthouse. And Teresa, you spoke with a legal expert tonight about what happens next. What did they have to say? Guys, I learned that it's possible this move could delay the progress of the case, but it doesn't have to. It all depends on what Willis decides to do and how fast she does it. Yet another hang up in the Georgia 2020 election interference case, an appeal. The former president and his co-defendants have a right to ask to appeal the decision. They don't have a right to appeal it because uh, it's before trial. Georgia State University law professor Clark Cunningham says there's a process to this. To move forward, the defendants have to ask the judge to issue a certificate for immediate appeal and get it granted. Then they have to persuade the Georgia Court of Appeals to take it. Even if they all agree, Cunningham says it's still going to take time. So he suggests Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis start the trial as soon as possible because time is ticking. If she loses the appeal, then uh, she and her team are off the case. But there also is a new commission that the governor signed into law on the 13th that will probably start investigating her and has the power to remove her. The other option is for Willis to take a leave of absence. I think it's much less likely that the, the appeal would go forward and it would greatly simplify things. If not, Cunningham says if former President Donald Trump were to be elected again before the trial, he can go to federal court and ask for an order to put a stop to state prosecution as long as he's president. If he wins, then there will be a four-year hold. Trump can't pardon himself for state crime, but the federal cases can go away. So everything is weighing on the Georgia case and the voters' eyes on the screens. And all of us can basically sit in the jury box and watch the evidence as it comes in. That could make a huge difference. It could determine who our next president is. Cunningham says Willis could start this case as early as next month, and former President Trump could file more appeals down the line.